everybody. Welcome to Gaming Toaster's very first series on Seven Days to Die. We've got an interesting one for you today. Um, today we are going to be doing a brand new map, and we are um, using a an item that is the developer 200 Shades of Looting Glasses. That's the only thing that we're going to be using, um, like from the cheat menu. So we're just going to play along and see how that 200 looting uh, actually affects everything, affects gameplay, affects what items drop all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm brand new first day um, in right now. We're going to start searching some stuff. We already have some 9mm ammo and some cash and some lead. All right, I'm going to grab some wood. <clears throat> Check this backpack. Some murky water and a bandage. More cash. Got some stone already. Steel arrowheads. Those are nice. And some clay soil. I think um, we do need some wood. We only have two pieces. I would like to get at least a uh, stone axe and probably a um, club as well before we go into this house, just in case there is a zombie in here. Military armor schematic. Okay. Go ahead and use that. Let's see if I can't find a little bit more wood really quick. There we go. Grab some fibers so we can craft our axe. I think it only takes a couple, but we'll grab a few anyway. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. We've got stone axe, we'll craft that, and a wooden club. I'm going to move that stuff into my inventory here. I'm going to get rid of the note. Save the land claim box for later. Okay. Here we go. We're good to check out the house. <clears throat> Got some coal in the stove. More lead. We can scrap that. Here we go. Very first day, very first house. Blueberries, Mega Crush, and Soup Stock. Well, hopefully we won't find ourselves starving here. There is a zombie in here. Hi there. Power attacks are nice. Some polymers and some gunpowder. <clears throat> I don't think there's a whole lot in this house. Check the toilet. Sometimes you find 9mm in the toilet, which is always a lovely thing. Let's take this couch apart really quick. Some cloth. Scrap that. See, scrapping that chair, I got six leather out of that. That's not too shabby. Stand. We got some steel armor parts. I typically don't find myself crafting armor too much. Um, I usually find everything drops for me, more or less. We got a leather duster. We're definitely going to wear that. At least until we find the uh, college letter jacket, because that thing is amazing. We can't use the glasses, but we could probably sell them to the uh, trader here in a day or so. Nothing else up here, I don't think. I think that's it. I don't believe this house has a basement, but we will check anyway. No, definitely no basement. Okay. Take a look at the map really quick. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, grocery store is up this way. Grab that lead and take the iron. Take that cloth. Let's check this backpack. And we don't really need these. I can scrap them though. Okay. Hopefully we'll get lucky and get a wrench soon and we can start taking apart these cars. 
I like to try to get a motorcycle built within the first four or five days. Um, right now, I do believe we have a uh, horde set to five days, so it gives us less time than normal to get prepared for it. Um, with these looting glasses on, that should not be an issue. Here's the grocery store. I've, there's actually a good spot in here to um, to make a base, so we will probably do that. And this parking lot is actually really great for fighting zombies, so let's see if I can't club this rabbit. Well, that was easy. I'll have to use the axe on the first one because I don't have enough bones for a bone knife. Hopefully we'll get enough here. We did. So we're going to craft a bone knife really quickly. There's a zombie. Oh, there he is. I heard him. that for sneaking up on me. There's a couple more over there, but they're not interested yet. I'm going to get this uh, bone knife made if possible. Where is it at? I need one more bone. Can't take him apart, can I? Never tried to do this before. <laughs> I don't imagine you get any bones. <laughs> Just check this trash around here. Some iron. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and kill this zombie here. I see a sports bag off in the distance. So we'll check that out. If I don't find another bone coming up soon, I should actually. I'm sure. Look at this. We've got. So much for the bone knife. We got a level 6 machete already. That is amazing. And a level 4 stone spear. Rotting the flesh, which we will not take. This machete is actually going to be really good, I think. What's the damage? 29.9. That's pretty amazing. Okay. Let's see how many hit points this uh, wall has here. Because when I make my base where I like to make it, I usually will come in right here and make a doorway. zombies to deal with. <laughs> the fall off of that finished them off. That was really funny. I hear another one. Where are you at? Are you in there? You are in there. Okay. Well, let's repair this really quickly. Help him break out. So we can finish him off. I suppose I can make a uh, stone shovel. I can. Fantastic. We'll make this a lot faster. Okay. Can you get through? You can't, but I can hit you. through now. There we go. He actually did a chunk of damage because I'm naked right now. I'll close that. <clears throat> I do believe, yeah, there's one guy out here. Hi, buddy. One shot. That's not bad. We got a yuca juice and some charred meat. I'm going to go ahead and eat my can of chili and make some room. Scrap that can. There should be some. Hopefully, there's coal in one of these a little bit. Uh, we got more zombies out here somewhere. I think they're outside. I 
There he is. I can make one shot with a power attack to the head. That's crazy. Some red tea. Check the cash register. A few coins. I don't. I don't know about you guys. I never take um, the actual coffee beans. I will only take it if there's actually coffee in it. I don't feel like messing with making coffee. Do a little bit of cleaning up. This is the spot where we're going to use make our base really. Um, it's reasonably well fortified already. It's got a uh, vault door on it, which is always nice. Scrap that chair. Uh, some iron in the desk. <coughs> I'm going to craft a campfire. I'm going to throw that up on top of the stove. Put my coal in it. I don't have anything. I don't have a pot. I don't have a uh, one of those grill grates. I don't have anything like that yet. I'm going to go ahead and eat these blueberries and get them out of the inventory. <clears throat> Could probably go ahead and drink this water. Fantastic. Okay. Check the fridge. Got a can. Check the sink. There's a cooking pot. That is lucky as hell right there. Okay. Some cash, a bottle, and cloth. Okay. Check this trash up here. Some sand. Okay, there's some shelves over here. If I'm not mistaken, I'll get rid of this crap. These bother me. Thankfully, these broken brick segments are uh, a lot lower in hit points than the surrounding wall is. Empty jar. Two empty jars. Water and a rotten flesh. We'll leave that flesh. Okay. I'm going to start getting some of this out of here. I, I would usually wait until I have a wrench or something to um, take apart fridges and stuff, but I really need this space. As you can see, this is not the, uh, the biggest base area, which is fine. Um, we can manage for sure, but we have to clear out some stuff. Sounds like I woke up some more zombies. <clears throat> I apologize if I uh, have been clearing my throat a lot. I feel like I've got something going on. I'm not sure if it's a cold or a what at this point. Where are they at? I know there's a bunch of zombies that way. <clears throat> I guess we're probably hearing them from outside. Yep, three of them. That's what I like to see. Popping noggins. I'm out of stamina. Oh, crap. Okay. Mm, that's decent. Imagine I've gotten a point. I do have a point. Okay. Let's go into Sexual Tyrannosaurus. And if I'm not mistaken, I think um, since I'm using a machete, uh, it says, I was looking at Minor 69er. It might not be that one. I'll have to look. Um, axe, pick, shovel. So that would be if I was using an axe. Um, oh, that's right. There's a whole thing for it under, I think, agility. Deep cuts. Here we go. So, knives do more damage, and we may go that route, depending on what else we find. If I find, like, a nice level 6 steel axe or something like that, I may go that direction instead. Now, this is a big location, and um, I'm not going to be using the entire thing as a base. I usually close off... Um, I put a wall down across here. I'll clear all this out, board up those uh, windows right there, and clear out this, um, this 
countertop and we'll use this and that room as a base. Um, I just need to figure out a place that I can put down the land claim block so that we're going to cover as much of this area as possible. And we'll probably have to go ahead and clear out the grocery of all zombies before we can really figure out a good spot. I'll chop his head off. Alright. There are actually a ton of zombies in here. Um, I know there's a bunch up here. I may as well just go through and wake them up. Alright, come on, fellas. Okay, he's down. There's a couple more coming at us. I think we're getting the hang of this. Alright, we have any more in this break room? Yeah, there's one more. Come on over, buddy. Oh, yeah. Popping noggins good. Got some miso soup in the microwave. Hey, there's a grill. Man, we're doing it up here. We've got a pot and a grill now. Scrap that and scrap these chairs. Okay. Can't check that trash. Can't check the fridge. Take that chair and that chair. Scrap those as well. Got a locker over here. Tank top, we might as well. Looking stylish. I'm sure we look absolutely terrible right now. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we're, we're stylish as hell. <clears throat> Let's see what we got in here. Pick up this chair. There's nobody actually in here. I think I just woke up a bunch upstairs though. Hey, here they come. Chair. I know there is a cop up here, and I'm a little nervous about taking on a cop with just a melee weapon like uh, this machete, but we will see how it goes. Come on, buddy. I know you're around that corner. Where you at? There he is. Oh, that wasn't terrible at all. There are zombies up on the roof, and that's roof access right there. We're not going to mess with that yet. There's birds up there as well, I do believe. Um, I don't have any lockpicks to be able to get into this thing yet, so that will have to wait. Also, the uh, the final cash or whatever, like the, the ultimate score here at the grocery store is back in this area back here somewhere if I'm not mistaken um, it will also have a, a locked container I am sure and I'm probably not going to be able to do much with that at the moment let's wake up all these zombies back here and take care of them so the thing I like about using the the 200 looting glasses is that it seems like it kind of helps you skip some of the monotony at the beginning like i've already got a level six machete it's not a it's not like an m60 or anything it's i'm not just making an absolute joke of um fighting zombies it still takes some thought at least um probably gonna have to put down some blocks to get over there i don't know no, i got it okay cool I know there's a dog up here in the ceiling. I'm going to clear these bathrooms. Check the toilets. Some corn. I thought that was funny that you can get corn seeds out of a toilet. That's kind of gross, really. Mm, let's see if there's some stuff. We don't really need these pipes. So we're going to scrap those. I'll probably bring that down on my bar. 
kick that down on the bar. I'm just trying to free up some room down here so that I'm not quite as encumbered. That will work. Oh yeah. Ooh. Pop the noggin. So we got a crate over here we can open. Pair that really quickly. I know there's some more zombies over here. They'll be coming out shortly, I'm sure. Oh yeah, there's this dude. Mm, there's some over there we haven't woken up yet. <clears throat> no switches and 198 iron. Check this utility cart. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. Okay. There's a loot crate. That's not too shabby. Or loot bag. I think it's funny if you've ever looked at these. They um, they say Z-Pack on them. Which is hilarious. 183 cash. Got some forged steel. Another soup stock. Some iron cross bolt, crossbow bolts. Okay, I'm going to go uh, back to what we're going to be calling the base area. And we are going to throw down a... Um, Storage chest. Just gotta be able to get through here. Um, dig this up. I'll have to fight this dog really quickly. I'm pretty sure we'll wake it up coming through here. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Hi, puppy. Get these guys, too. Okay. Waiting until I gain back a little stamina here. Kill the stripper. We've got this lady over here. I'm not interested, lady. Oh, out of stamina. I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, bandage, I do believe. Get some uh, health back. We will have to uh, pick that once we get lockpicks as well. Once I get a wrench, this is not an active vending machine, so I can actually take that apart and get some forged steel out of it. Probably get some forged iron out of that. You get forged iron out of a few things in here, taking them apart, which is always nice. All right, let's get this loot chest made. Mm, I don't think we have any nails yet. No nails, so we can't do the riding ones. Um, I'll just make some regular chests for now. Let's start off with one. Get some of this stuff put up that we're not going to be using. Right away at least. I'll cook that meat later on. For now we have a decent little bit of food. Um, I'm going to actually probably use most of it right now. Get that put up. All that stuff. We don't need the arrowheads yet. We actually have to find a book, I do believe, before I can even use those. Put my coins up. Definitely put the forged steel, corn seed, and the arrows. I'll go ahead and stick these in the fire. Okay, we're not looking too bad. And we are in a grocery store after all, so I'm sure I will find more food in here. Um, hmm. Kind of want to go check out that, um, that final cache, though. Uh, I remember how to get to it. 
think it's actually it might be easiest to go through one of these. Got a bone in the freezer. Empty jar. Let's see if I can't break through one of these things. That's a brick wall. I was thinking that there was a pass through somewhere in here. Here we go. And there may very well be some zombies in here because this is the final area right here. Oh shit. Oh, a bunch of them. Oh man, that's a mess. Oh man. Okay, we're on them. I need to get some stamina back. So we got two lumberjacks and then this dude. Oh, and a few more as well. Just kind of kite them around a little bit. Maybe. Is he trying to flank me here? Already bled out. Okay, my bad. I know I've got another lumberjack. At least I think I do. Hiding somewhere up here. I believe I saw two. Where did you go? Go ahead and close that door behind us so we're safe while we try to loot this. Shotgun shells and iron arrows. Let's go ahead and make a bow since we've got arrows now. Can we? Oh no, we need plant fibers. I put those in the chest. Clear out these shelves. Get some glass jars. Mm, another piece of charred meat that we can go ahead and eat. Got a yucca juice and a murky water. Murky water. Empty can. Another glass jar. Okay, let's get into these crates. Chicken ration. Cat food and coffee. Awesome combination right there. Sounds delicious. Customized fittings mod. And of course this is locked. Um, I know it's going to have a lot of hit points. Yep. We're going to wait on that one. Might as well grab this gasoline while I'm here. Kind of dark back here. Shouldn't be night yet. There's a few nails. We'll need more to make our first writable storage crates. Check this trash. Got lead. Electrical parts and polymers. Another shamway box. Got some salmon and water. And I can open that now, which actually opens this to the rest of the store. We already cleared out there. And we've got a little pass through so we can work our way back around. So we are pretty set for food for tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and take this wood because I don't have very much. I think I'm actually going to pop outside with the um, last little bit of daylight I've got left and grab some more fibers and stuff. Once we get in here, we will take a good look at um, skill points. Because I want to do a balance. Um, I, want, I definitely want to get the motorcycle going soon. But also, we need to build a fight. Um, especially this early stuff. Not having a whole lot. So, I'll be looking at sexual Tyrannosaurus to 
lower the stamina cost of these attacks, and I'll probably also do some uh, points in the blade stuff, because that will be pretty serious. I think, uh, let's see here, 10% more damage on the first one, 3 bleeding wounds on an enemy, and a power attack inflicts 2. So if I do a power attack on one of those, um, like, the, the bigger enemies, it'll put 2 bleeds on them automatically. Every attack refreshes the duration on bleeding. Enemies run 10% slower while bleeding. So this is great. I can just hit them and kite them. So we're definitely going with that. And then um, we need another point in strength. We're going to do a pack mule. Probably going to have to do a Master Chef. Because um, I don't think... Hmm, That'll be for bacon and eggs, so we can wait on that one for a little bit. I'm going to do another point. Actually, I'm out of points. Okay. So our next point will probably go into strength, and then we will get um, Sexual Tyrannosaurus rank 2 once we get strength 3. Okay. Alright, we have enough fibers now. Mm, we're going to make a bow. The land claim block. That's what we're going to do in there. Okay. Let me get this loaded up with an arrow. We're going to use iron arrows. Um, we can head back in and figure out where we're going to put this land claim block. It's important. We definitely do not want to get respawns. Um, the most important thing is that it's going to cover my actual base. I don't think there's any way to get it to cover this whole store. But I needed to cover my base and as much of this as possible. So I'm probably going to go right up here with it, actually. Uh, let's see. It says bounds are on, but I don't actually see them. I wonder if we go outside if we can see them. I certainly don't see anything. Let's hit the hide button and see what happens. <clears throat> Okay, boundaries are on now. We'll take a look and see what it looks like. Well, it definitely looks like it covered our base at least. Oh yeah, we are set on this side. <clears throat> have to see how far in it actually went though, as far as like the rest of the store. So we are going to get respawns on this part of the store, and that is okay. It's not the end of the world. I gotta be careful using the machete too much because it is a little low on. Oh, I threw that instead of. I forgot you can't power attack with those. Power attacking with a spear just throws it. I forgot that. Hardly ever use spears, honestly. Let's check our trash out here. some cans. Yeah, I actually don't mind having stuff respawn on this part. That'll be fine. That dog will pop back up there, but he won't be woken up unless he somebody goes over, unless I come over really close to him. So, and I won't be doing that again probably. We do have some more looting that we can do in the store, and I do have to um, start working on breaking out this stuff, so I may do that. Probably going to do a lot of the actual base work off camera. But for now, we are set up. We have, we know where we're going to stay. I know where the vendors are from here, so that's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and make a bedroll and pop that down. We are in pretty good shape. It is the end of day one. We have lots of food, lots of 
stuff to drink. We have a decent bit of stuff that we can take to the trader. Ammo, but no guns yet. So I'd say we are sitting fairly pretty after the first day. Um, we are going to be building... I'll just go over this with you real quick. Um, I will be building out, take out these shelves here, line um, the walls with probably cobblestone or maybe even concrete. Um, I'll be checking the hit points on this. Yeah, it's slow. It's only a thousand, so this will all come out as well. We get the wrench, we'll pop that off. Um, and then I'll be lining these walls and I'll be building another wall across here. Building a door right here, um, but the idea is, is that we're going to build out some walls and then do some iron uh, bars, and we'll have a little uh, spot to do hordes every every time. And um, hordes are set to five days at the moment. I do not plan on keeping it that way. Um, I'll probably be moving them to every three days. Uh, maybe after the first one, definitely uh, by the time we're done with the second for sure. So, thanks for watching. We will pick it up um, at the beginning of day two. I'm going to do some work on the base. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, and we will see you next time.